I'm Kristen. And I'm Doug. And you're watching Travels and Travails. Today we're at Indigene Reserve. Nestled in the Sonora foothills, Indigene Reserve, a cidery and distillery, features hard cider, apple brandy, and fruit-infused vodka. The name Indigene is a harmony of the words indigenous and synergy. Inside the tasting room, we enjoyed the apple brandy served in a warm brandy snifter. Refreshing ciders, including apple and blackberry, taste crisp and cool on a hot day. The adjacent gift shop showcases indigene merchandise, including the flavorful apple brandy. To come on more adventures with us, hit the subscribe button. Walking out of the tasting room is like taking a step back in time. The beautiful grounds surrounded by apple trees are adorned with antique tractors and equipment. The hiking trail that follows the creek leads to an abandoned gold mine. Some of the buildings and equipment are still intact for viewing. Another trail passes through the covered bridge. While we were there in May, the apples were blossoming and the bees were buzzing. On your walk, visit the Gnome Home. For Harvest Host members, Indigene Reserve can accommodate up to two vehicles 44 feet and over. The sites are level and shaded. Picnic tables are available close by. Cell signal on Verizon was five bars. In addition, the reserve has Wi-Fi. Pets are allowed on the grounds and in the building and on the lovely trails. When you go, be sure to follow the website directions rather than the GPS instructions. We ended up in a steep residential area with a trailer by following the GPS instructions. Consumnes River Farm is a harvest host location that crafts wine, vinegar, and olive oil and is located in the town of Thornton less than 30 miles south of Sacramento via Interstate 5. This Harvest Host location provides guests with a large level RV area that is roomy enough for three rigs 45 feet or longer. Consumnes River Farm is dog friendly and there is a walking trail that loops around the vineyard. Sullivan thoroughly enjoyed the walks. Tastings are available for $5 per person, but the fee is waived with the purchase of a bottle of wine. I especially enjoy their sparkling wines. We happened to be there on a paint and sip day. All the artists attending the mandala class looked like they were having a grand time. In addition to the wine, we savored the vinegars and olive oils that are produced by the farm. Even during the winter months, blackberry sangria and peach mango slushies are served. I relished my District 9 sparkling wine on the inviting patio while Doug savored his blackberry sangria slushy. Later, one of the owners, Ken, lit a fire in the chimney. Owners Jackie and Ken were very friendly. All in all, we had a pleasant stay at Kasumnas River Farm. If you're not traveling with a dog, enjoy a stroll at the Kasimnas River Preserve just two miles north of the farm. Today we're visiting Twisted Oak Winery. Twisted Oak Winery is a harvest host winery located in Velocito, California in Calaveras County. This quirky winery sports several red wines and a couple of white wines which come with some zany names. Grapes. 
and torcido means twisted in Spanish. Oh. When you visit, consider tasting the bearded dragon, a red wine named after a reptile of the same species who was sadly left at the winery after a concert event. Luckily for the bearded dragon, he was adopted by the winery owners and lived out the remainder of his life there at the winery. Among the other wines with bizarre names are the Old Chum Bucket, the Murgatroyd, the Nice Goat, and a wine whose name I cannot pronounce, which rhymes with cluck and pairs with duck. We like the Viognier that we tasted. Inside the tasting room is a small selection of funky gifts, including many funny signs. We were served by a lovely young woman who lived in a converted bus, which she and her boyfriend had driven all the way from Florida. Harvest Host members receive a free wine tasting. The winery also sports a rubber chicken national forest that you can tour while driving up the twisted road. Views from the patio are outstanding. Twisted Oak Winery has enough room for up to four rigs, 45 feet and over. Although the parking lot sloped slightly, our spot for the night on the blacktop was level enough that we didn't even need to unhook our trailer. At night, we had the whole place to ourselves. Even though the gates are locked, the place gave off an eerie vibe. I awoke in the middle of the night to the sound of coyotes howling in the distance. Beside the sound of coyotes, the place was dead quiet. Pets are allowed on the premises and in the wine tasting room. Cell phone signal with Verizon was excellent with five bars of 4G. Even in March, the temperature was mild at the elevation of 2,088 feet. We visited the winery as a launching off point for a hike on the Arnold Rim Trail and another overnight stay to Calaveras Big Tree State Park. 